Hello, and in this program we're going to be learning how to write stuff to a file. So just taking a quick look at this here, first of all we're clearing our screen um, and we're using our little technique again um, for specifying the location of the file. Um, always a good idea to, uh, to put that into a string so that you can use it later on. Um, the only real difference between what we did on this and uh, reading from a file is that when we do our open command uh, to whatever we want to call the file, output text in this case, uh, we're going to open it for output as file stream number one. And what you've got to remember is that if there is already a file called output.txt in that location, it will be deleted and overwritten by whatever we do to it now. So now we've got the file open, what we need to do is just in this, use the print command, so print to file stream number one, first line of output message, then print to file stream number one, the second line of output message. So whatever we want, we just use the print command with the file stream number uh, written by it as well. Now it's very important that we close the file stream before we end the program, otherwise it won't properly save the changes that we make. So just before I run that program, just have a little look in the folder here, the EP code breaking folder, there is no output file. So let's move that back over here. Let's run the program. And it's not said anything to the user, but it's telling me to press any key to continue. Well, the reason it didn't say anything to the user is because we didn't tell the user anything. We just literally wrote something out to the file. But if I look in the folder here, there we are, output.txt. So if I open that, first line of output message, second line of output message. So that's all worked um, quite happily. Now what we need to do is pretty it up a little bit so that the, uh, the person who's running the program actually gets some kind of feedback about uh, the progress that uh, is being made through writing their program, uh, through writing their text file. So this is what I've done here. I mean, you don't always need to do this, but sometimes it's nice to give the user some kind of feedback as to what's going on. So I just let them know when I'm opening the output file, when I'm writing the data to the file, and then finally when I'm closing the file. This is handy because when you're debugging your program, you're sort of writing it in the first place, you can see these messages coming out on screen and you can identify if things go wrong, where they go wrong. So let's run that program. Here we go, opening up a file, writing data file, closing file. So that all looks pretty uh, successful. Press any key to continue. Now if we bring in our output file again, there it is yet again. And uh, finally, let's just have a, a, a look at another technique here. So I've just changed the way I've written the actual data out. So in this case, um, I've set up a little for next loop. So for i equals 1 to 10, so this is going to count up for values of i for 1, for 2, for 3, all the way up to 10. And then each line of my program, uh, each line of my text file, it's going to write this is line, and then it's going to write that number afterwards. Um, so this is showing you how to write other sorts of data to the output file. So let's just uh, run that. Um, again, I've got my messages here that we're opening, writing, and, and closing the file. And let's have a look at the output text file this time. Notice it's overwritten completely what was there before. And we've got the messages, and this is line 1 up to 10. 